Hey guys, welcome back. Sometimes in life we get hit with a bad hand, but that doesn't mean we have to fold. Take a look at how three young friends got together to help their families battle cancer. I was crying all the time when I found out my mom had cancer. It was just a really hard time for me. Went in with my husband for a doctor's appointment. They came out and said my husband had head and neck neuroblastoma. I realized like this isn't just one easy surgery. This is something big and scary. I was working in my garden and I couldn't breathe and I find out it's ovarian cancer. I, I couldn't believe it. My mom got diagnosed. We we're like, oh my gosh, like what is happening here? Like, we knew so many people who had cancer and we just wanted to find something that could help us out and raise money. A garage sale may not sound like a powerful tool for fighting cancer, but the garage sale for cancer has become just that. We didn't think we would have enough inventory. We put our gloves on, flashlights out, and we would go dumpster diving. A couple means, of couches on this street. It means put your face on the couch for oh. heaven's sake. <laughs> a nice looking vase. No toilets. Oh, oh. Get in the car, princess. Mm -hmm. Now we we yeah. crossed the line a few times when we thought, is that out by the trash or is that their decor? Yeah. Did their child mean to leave that in the garbage? <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> year one, they raised $5,000 for cancer research, and four years later, more than $105,000. It's amazing that all the work that we went through, it, we could raise that much money. The garage sale for cancer has become a model for grassroots fundraising. I hope for this garage sale to be in every state and every city. My mom would have definitely been proud. <laughs> 